Osaka Museum of Natural History, watch out. This is the first time I've ever seen a stegodon this giant. Now, it's labeled the species Huanghoensis, but this was synonymized with Stegodon zidanskii. Why does that matter? Because Stegodon zidanskii is the largest genus of the family that is extinct, the Stegodonidae. And this particular animal is gigantic. It's as large as pretty much any of the largest elephant creatures that roam with a 12 foot plus at the height of the shoulders, maybe a little taller, and 14, 12 to 14 tons, depending on who you ask. It is known from a very complete skeleton from China. And this specimen is enormous. Now, the tusks, you see them coming out here, are gigantic. I'll have to look and see if they found those tusks. What I can tell you is these tusks are the largest horizontal-oriented tusks I've ever seen. This is so cool for me because I've read about these for years, but seeing them in person really gives you an entirely different perspective. I mean, the thing is gigantic. It would tower over you. I think they tried to put the skull at a position to where it would have been in life, and that's scary. Come here for a quick second as we come around here. I want you to look at the skull from the lateral view here because you can see how narrow anteroposteriorly squished the skull is. But I think that's a dis an illusion. I think that the skull is peering down. And if you grabbed it by the back of that neck and made the, the mandible horizontal, the tusks would project farther out that way. This thing is, dig is peering down at you when you're looking at it. I love it. Now this is a different species of stegodon right here. This is stegodon aurorae. I believe this is a Japanese stegodon. We've seen pieces of this in a number of museums on our trips. Uh, lots of mandibles and bits and bops. So this is a much smaller one, which may be island endemism. That's my current hypothesis. We'll have to go dig around and find out. Dr. Brian Curtis saying thank you kindly. Adios.